Hello everyone, today I will show you how I make frames for my paintings. First, we mark on the profile the values of the sides of the picture, plus the width for the profile, minus the width for the small ledge behind which the frame will hide. You can cut off clean angles of 45 degrees with the help of a meter box. For my purposes it is enough, but if you plan to carry out a large amount of such work in the future, then you will need a decent meter so. Using sandpaper, remove burrs and, if necessary, correct the cut. Thickly distribute wood glue to adjacent parts and tightly press them together. Also, I press the flat board on top until the frame is completely dry to be sure that everything will remain in place. The drying process will take about a day. Now we are ready to paint the frame. Acrylic paints are good for this. They are well absorbed into the wood fibers even without priming the surface. You can mix any color you like so that it is suit a specific picture. In this case I choose a dark brown so that it does not distract attention because the picture is quite dull. Dilute with water and apply with a soft white brush to lay the paint in all the grooves on the surface. I use TP to wipe off excess paint in certain places. It helps reveal the structure of the wood and create the aging effect. Although acrylic paints dry quickly, with water you can adjust the unevenness of the paint layer in the process. As a nice little detail I use gold paint and a thin brush to highlight a beautiful ornament on the inside of the frame. Fits perfectly, now you need to fix everything together. The easiest way I found is to cut small strips of canvas from the remnants and attach them with a stapler. Such mounts handle any difference in height between levels and, if necessary, can be easily removed without damaging the canvas. I fold the stripes several times so that being under tension the threads are not pulled out of them.
Now we just have to attach the string to hang it on a wall. Mark equal segments between one quarter and one third of the frame height, so the picture will not lean forward and the string will not be visible from above. Choose the size of the screws according to the frame thickness and its weight. My frame is massive, but the total weight is low, so small ones will do it. Choose a very durable and not prone to rot string. I often saw weak ones frayed over time, which led to the fall of the picture, the frame breakage and even damage to the canvas itself. I hope you get a good addition to your paintings in the form of a beautiful frame. Good luck!